You've actually done extremely well in these last few weeks, haven't you? Well, you think you have just absented yourself and been on holiday, but actually what's happened is that you've given yourself the time to realize that you can be happy, you can feel at ease with yourself. You can actually live for two weeks and say, I didn't feel depressed for a minute. What is that telling you? What is that telling you about how it works for you? Hmm. 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 Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what it means when you have good things to do, good company to be with, engagement to the full, exploring new things, learning new things, testing yourself, stretching yourself, being in nature, having good meals, being with somebody you love, then the way you are in the world changes. And how is that in contrast with how you normally are? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Normally, you feel out of sync with the world and you feel unable to connect. So you disconnect. And as you disconnect, you create a space in which you flounder. And that floundering feels like disappointment and disarray and disconnection and disappointment. And you call it depression. And when in that depression, some room arrives, some space to think again and feel again and try to connect. It feels like scary freedom and your heart flutters and you feel anxious, afraid it might go wrong. When you do engage, it works. It works and your mood shifts. You open up to what is important and you create a better way of being engaged. Mm. Involved. Real. Challenging. And all those experiences create a sense of meaning, a sense of who you are, a sense of truth, of rightness, of being who you are. And this is what you need to learn from. This is how you build it up, how you cultivate your being until it feels steady and calm and strong and whole, until it feels right. You know you're making the most of being.
being just simply what you are able to be.